My name is Kit Hittinger. I was the club president for um, the Cal Poly Pomona Rose Float um, in 1989, the Parading Around Float, which won the Founders Trophy. This is my husband, Wayne Hittinger. He was the chairman for Pomona the same year, and together we're going to talk about the 1989 float Parading Around. Parading Around had the uniqueness of being in the 100th parade. The year that the parade that year was called Celebration 100. That year, the float was a girl uh, putting on her own parade, actually, celebrating on her own. In doing so, she had her band uh, on her bike, on her tricycle, I should say. She, had, she played all of her instruments. She had a wagon behind her with her dog and her cats in it. Um, that float animation-wise, everything on that float moved that could move. So every instrument moved. If you see a video of it, you'll see that her fingers are moving on, on it as well, as her feet are moving. They're actually on blocks so that she could reach the pedals. Um, and that would cause the, the, uh, the drum bangers to hit and, and bang the drum. Uh, cymbals went up and down. Uh, the dog, uh, in the, the main dog in the, in the wagon, went from around 14 feet or so to over 22 feet high. It howled, howled all the way up. And in that animation, it just didn't go up and down. It would go up, part way down, back up, all the way down. It was very random in, in, in its look. Uh, we had uh, variances for height, for width and for length, basically, uh, because of movements that had happened. It was actually two separate floats. One pulled the other. We used a military hitch in the middle. Uh, the connections, though, for the brakes were ran through, so the front drivers uh, could actually uh, hit the brakes on the back. A tournament did require that we have brakes. In fact, on this float, uh, we forgot about that until the night before test drive, and so we actually uh, had to put those brakes on at the last minute. They actually fell off during that test drive and had to put them back on. Um, but they were great for the parade when they needed to work. Um, the wagon, actually, the framework was a triangle and uh, the main frame for that, and so because it would pivot um, on the wheels in the back. Uh, no pod on this float, so that was a unique thing as well. The wheels on the float, we got those from La Cunada Flint Ridge that year. Um, the wheels that uh, they, they gave us were actually designed and built by JPL, if I'm correct. Um, La Cunada at that time had a lot of people from JPL that were alumni of Cal Poly working on their float, and that's how that worked. And the wheels had to be revulcanized when we got them. They hadn't been used in many years. And we wanted to be fresh to make sure they would last through the parade. Unlike some of our other floats where the rubber came off, and you can see that on the trophy pictures if you look at past trophy pictures where they left a little mark here and there. Those tricycle wheels were decorated in cornmeal, onion seed, white mums to help them uh, look decorated like the little girl had decorated her own tricycle. Uh, the dog was made with pompous grass um, and we used a lot of carnations and um, some roses in all of that as well. And of course the water was shooting out of the um, non-camera side on top of all of us in the stands. Yeah, that was one of the last years that was allowed by tournament. Uh, so, but it was very evident that year. Lastly, the rendering for this float was done by Mr. Hampt. He was the father of Kurt Hampt, who was the chairman the year prior to me uh, for the 99th parade. Uh, we kept things in the family back then, so from design, rendering, to building, to decorating, to driving that float down the parade route, it was 100% the Cal Poly family.